This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we have a dishwasher that won't start. So I'm going through the different settings. I have the door locked tightly. I have it plugged in, but I'm not getting any response as if it's not getting any power. So what I'm gonna do is unplug the garbage disposer and then the dishwasher, and I'm gonna put the dishwash, the garbage disposer um, plug in where the dishwasher was and I noticed that the garbage disposal starts right up so I know I have power in the plug that the dishwasher was plugged into so I know there's energy coming into the dishwasher so still no response so what I'll do is take a Phillips head screwdriver and just remove the peripheral screws that hold the two halves of the door together so I can look in on the door switch and the controls I got a feeling maybe the door switch is um, malfunctioning. This model has two switches and maybe one or both of them is having trouble. So we're just using the Phillips head screw. The ones at the bottom are a little bit shorter than the other screws. So you got to make sure the short ones go in the bottom when you do the reassembly for this model. So we're just zipping them all out. It's good to make sure you have it unplugged at this point. I'm going to remove this little handle here too, the Phillips head screw at the bottom. If I can get the handle off, then I can separate the two halves of the door. So here's the two halves of the door. This little silver part is the door switch. I can hear it clicking. Get the power turned on here for a test and I'm pushing in on it as I'm turning the dial. Still no difference, no effect. So I'm going to remove this plate that covers the two door switches, Phillips head screw, pull that off. And then I've got two switches left underneath. One of them seems like the button is pushed in and won't pop back. The lower one seems okay, the upper one, something's wrong with it. So we're gonna take that out and we're gonna we're going to replace it. To do that, I'll move the bottom one out first. I'm gonna use a screwdriver on my finger to pry away on this plastic tab, push it toward the bottom of the dishwasher, and then I'll be able to get the first switch out. And then that'll give me an ability to pry away another piece of plastic tab to get the upper one out. The upper one is the one that seems to be having trouble. And then once I get it out, I'll just remove the two terminals, spade terminals that connect it. I've got it unplugged again, and I'm using a standard head screwdriver to pry off those two spade connectors. One of them, the lower one, seemed pretty corroded. And as I test the switch with my multi-tester, I find that it does not have continuity, so electricity cannot flow through it. That's why it's not starting. So I have I happen to have another switch, and I'm testing that one. This seems great my meter on it and then I'll press the button and I can hear it and see a value change on the display so I know this switch is good so now it's just a matter of putting the spade connectors on this new switch and then just pushing the two switches back into position it's important I put in the upper one first and then the lower one last It's pretty cool. They, there's no screws that hold them in. It's just they're held in by friction and these little plastic tabs. So the first one clicked in, second one clicks in, and then I'm going to put the little metal plate back on. It's just held in by one Phillips head screw.
tighten that up. Okay, I put the door lock back through the front plate and then I'll just put the periphery screws back in. They're just Phillips head screws. Remember that the, there's two short ones. They're slightly shorter and they go at the bottom. I'm just making sure everything's lining back up. There's the little short one that goes in first at the bottom. So this is a hot point dishwasher, GE hot point, and Works really well, cleans really well, it's pretty loud. So checking the different points on the dial, we're getting good response. So that's what it the water out of there. <laughs> that is so cool, man. Switch. <laughs> cool. Yeah, man, some goofy little part like that. You couldn't even tell why it wasn't popping back up, huh? Yeah, Are you, it seemed like some little tiny spring in there had just come loose but I guess it's kind of impressive so like how many years those things go before they on. give up because <laughs> it, it could be it could be a, maybe a maybe a 10 years before that thing went out on us come in from underneath to hold it on you're welcome Together, everything's working so thanks so much for watching please subscribe when you get a chance